In SOLIDWORKS Electrical Reboot menu, one of the most common tabs is the Draw tab. In this video, we will have an overview of the commands. In the creation section, we can find all the tools to create the drawing, such as line, circle, rectangle, and arc. It's worth to highlight the difference between a line and polyline. They can create the same shapes. Using a line, we can create different segments. While using a polyline, we can create one unique entity. Another difference is the thickness. We can change the thickness for a polyline using the field global width. For the line, we need to use the line weight option. The cloud can be used to leave notes into the drawing or to align circuits. The arch can be easily drawn on the scheme in a few clicks. The wipeout allows to hide part of the drawing. To hide the wipeout borderline, we need to turn off the wipeout option in the drawing parameters. The touch image command creates an hyperlink between the project and the image location. It allows to insert a lot of formats, but if the image is moved into a new folder, the hyperlink breaks and the image won't be shown in the drawing. The insert image command can insert into the scheme BMP and DIB images that will be saved within the project. Add text, attributes, and the multi line text are different ways to add texts into the drawings. The hyperlink allows the user to create links to data sheets or to the company website. The hyperlinks also carry through the smart PDF output. As any CAD software, the commands create block and insert block help the users to manage graphical entities, to save them first and then reinsert them in future projects. In the dimension section, we can find various dimension tools. When inserting one of them, it might happen that the text is small. We can either change the text height or change the dimension style to the bigger size. It's common to use the command that we can find in the notation section for the cabinet layouts because through them we can finish to detail the drawing, adding balloons and text leaders. The multilingual command allows to insert a multiline text where each line is related to a different language. The draw tab contains all the commands to generate all the title blocks, symbols, 2D footprints and much more. The graphical entities placed with these commands are not managed in the electrical project database and are meant for graphical purpose only.